Never in a million years did I ever think I was going to walk on top of a lake. Yes, that's me walking on top of a frozen lake in the middle of Alaska. Guys, we're literally standing on top of a lake right now. Literally, we're standing on top of a lake right now. Look at that. So the fishes are right now swimming underneath us. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I've watched too many movies, and I know that if I jump pretty hard, a crack can happen and possibly sink. Now, let's enjoy the video. What can I say? Visiting Alaska was truly a bucket list destination. We did everything from skiing, seeing wolves, dog sledding, even driving on top of a land. So nice. This is our bedroom view. We're gonna go skiing literally up that mountain. I don't know if you can see my finger, but that's where we're going. And we're super excited. Let's go skiing, Alaska vibes. Here we go. Alaska, baby, let's go! Woo! Let's go, baby, we got this! Man, skiing was so much fun until we decided to try to do the biggest slope in the mountain, and yes, we are not there yet. It did not go well. Babe, we're not that advanced yet. Yeah, no, we're not. We thought we could do this yeah. steep hill, but after falling a couple yeah, times. Luckily, we had someone help us and save us, no joke. Man, what an experience. No joke, though. It felt like a roller coaster riding it down. You guys, they're saving us right now. We were about to go down the steep hill. We tried at least. That was too steep. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Not for beat, not, we're not that expert modes. Got handles here for both of you on either side. And uh, just holler at me if I'm going too fast. Oh no, you, you, you go right on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, you gotta sit on the tree. <laughs> Good, yeah, I heard you giggling back there. So oh, dude. Really having a good time. On this trip, not only did Jessica and I enjoy the amazing views and the amazing attractions that it had to offer, but we also had the opportunity to meet my family. Literally, I have not seen my family in over 20 plus years. In fact, my cousin, she ended up staying at the resort that we were staying at just so she could have fun and enjoy the night with us. This is my cousin, Tatiana. We haven't seen ourselves in like forever. That's her beautiful son, her husband. Man, all I gotta say is my cousin was not kidding when she said night one. Let me roll the footage. Hey, cheers, let's go. My aunt's house right now. We're having a good time. Marcos came in with the skis for the day. And there's Tatiana. Tati, what's up? We're going skiing. Diana, what's up? Marie Isabel. What's up? What's up? What's up? I mean, babe, how are you liking Alaska so far? It's good, right? Shot skis all the way from Anchorage, Alaska. Let's go. The Garcia family, let's go. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. Alaska vibes out here with the family. Let's go, enjoy the vibe. Family, Tia. Ah, ah. Okay, 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 okay. A ver, what is it? A ver. What is it? Call me at Mark Cortez 94. All right, all I gotta say is we had such a great time that night. So much fun. We had such a great time hanging out with the family. They gave us good food. We had some good drinks. Everything was amazing. It was such a vibe and we just enjoyed every moment of it. And once again, I wanna to say to my family in Alaska, thank you so much for making us feel like we were at home. We really enjoyed spending time with y'all and we look forward to the next trip to having a good time again. The next day, Jessica and I actually had to get on a plane. We were very, very tired from the night before. We had such a great time. We had a good time at my family's house. I have family I actually live here in Alaska. I want to give a shout out to you guys for really showing us around and letting us have a great time with you guys. It was so much fun. But now we're going to, where are we going, babe? Where are we going? The North Pole. We're going all the way to Fairbanks, North Pole, Alaska. 
We've never been there. We're super excited. First Let's time. See the Northern Lights. Yeah, Maybe gonna, some dog sledding. Only two days, you guys. We're not gonna go there for a whole lot of days, but we're super excited. All right, guys, let's get to the video. Let's check it out. We are now over here at Fairbanks. This is the stay for the weekend. Pretty cool spot. Look at the view for the weekend. The next day, we decided to go visit Chino Springs. Imagine being inside a hot spring surrounded by beautiful white trees and snow all around. Such an experience just being able to be inside a hot spring and looking all around and just seeing freezing cold weather. We ended our day by visiting the Ice Museum. The Ice Museum is this cool place where you literally go in and everything's made out of ice. It was honestly a pretty cool experience. We ended up finishing our tour with a nice ice cocktail. Boy right here, Nico, what's up, Nico? What's up, guys? Man, Nico, Nico. From Alaska. Hey, he's my European brother right here. He's been showing us around Alaska, like giving us the real exclusive tour. Ice cream, is coffee, is chocolate. For Christmas, for next Christmas. What is that, Nico? We found for, for your wife some gifts for uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Man, visiting the Santa Claus house was such an experience. I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not even know that existed. I found out about it on this trip. <laughs> The next day, we decided to hit the dog sledding. Oh yeah, the snow gets kind of deep. Where are you guys visiting from? Atlanta. Atlanta, yes. okay. So not much dog mushing there, hey? No, none at all. She's a good girl. Hands, Luna, hands. If Luna was here right now, she'd be so jealous, my little dog. You're just such a good guy. I just love you. Oh. Oh my It was such an experience being able to get in the back of a sled and letting a bunch of dogs drag you around the snow. That same day, Jessica and I decided to ride on the snow with snow machines. That was so much fun. For me, the craziest thing that I got to experience in Alaska was literally being able to see wolves. I have never in a million years thought I would see wolves this close and this up front. Yo, there's like legit a bunch of wolves there. I'm gonna try to get some footage for you guys. Here we go. The only thing that was holding us away from the wolves was a small fence. I promise you, I don't feel like this fence was very, very sturdy, but it was definitely good enough for them to not go towards our direction. Oh my God. Hi. At one point of watching the wolves, one of them actually decided to run towards me. It was actually pretty insane. It felt so real. I thought for a second I was going to be on Channel 2 News. I'm not even kidding. My only worry was that Jessica was going to try to touch one of the wolves. They're beautiful, but you know what I'm saying? Girl. And that would have been a very hard story to explain to all of her family and of course mine on why Jessica possibly lost a foot or an arm or a hand. I'm just very happy that she didn't touch any of the dogs or any of the wolves. Alaska is one of those places that you have to visit at least once in your lifetime just so you can capture the beauty that it has to offer. Literally, these videos and pictures do not do justice for what we actually experienced. As well, before this video ends, I just want to say if you haven't watched the first part of this video, I will link it down below so you can check it out. If you don't have Alaska in your plans, make it a plan. Alaska is literally a place that you at least want to visit once and I highly recommend it. Go check it out and I hope you guys enjoy this video.